Good morning, everyone. So I've been getting a lot of questions lately about my grades for applying for med school and getting into medical school. Um, people just kind of asking me what my GPA is and how I, you know, how I did in my classes and whatnot. So here's a little bit of motivation for your morning. My second semester of college, I took this math class and it was called Math 128. It's basically uh, pre-calculus and trigonometry combined. Uh, versus like them as two separate classes. It was a five credit class, which is a lot. Usually classes are about three credits, four if they have a lab, at least at my university. And so there was a lot of credits early on in my undergrad. And I took this math class and I straight failed it. It wasn't even like a D. I just got a straight up F. And I... I was so unmotivated that entire semester going to that class and having to like walk in knowing that I was doing poorly. Um, I didn't really click with the teacher's exam style. I didn't really click with the math. Like it was just a lot and it was early on in college. I didn't, I didn't even know I wanted to go to med school yet or anything. And I was just like taking undergrad classes and I was like, man, this sucks. I don't like this class. I'm doing terrible, even though I'm trying to do the homeworks, trying to study, doing terrible on the exams, no curve, just straight up got an F. Um, and so I was pretty, I was pretty bummed about it. I, I lost my millennium scholarship. And so the next semester I had a summer gap in between and then I had fall semester the next semester. And I, I retook the class, but I took it at my local community college. Reason being is I was told that it was going to be easier at community college than it was at my university. And I did not know that if you took a class at community college, it didn't cover up the credit at the university because in my head, they were under the same um, thing. I go to school in Nevada, so was, they're both colleges under the Nevada system of higher education and so I thought that it would cover up the bad grade that I got so I took an entire semester of the class and it was like 10 times easier at the community college the professor was way better way more forgiving way more focused on you know getting us to really learn it and because of that I felt a little bit more motivated myself also there was the motivation of me thinking that it would cover up my grade and that I would get my Millennium Scholarship back and that it would be, it'd all be good. So I did a lot better in that class. And I was like, yeah, this is awesome. Well, towards the end of the semester, I learned that it doesn't actually cover up your university grade when you take it at a different college. And so basically on my transcript, I had an F from the university and an A from the community college. And I'm over here like, okay, this is fine for now, right? I'm like, whatever, that kind of sucks, but it's whatever. Then came a point that I thought I wanted to go to PT school. This was before I decided I wanted to go to med school. So I thought I wanted to become a physical therapist. And I was like, my, my GPA matters now. Like my grades matter now. I need to like, I need to do better. And so I, I had actually taken about a year, a year and a half. So I, I took two semesters after that retake at the community college and I was taking my anatomy and physiologies, I was taking my more kinesiologically based courses and I was loving it. I was doing way better. That's when I was, I started being a straight A student a lot better um, just because I knew that I loved like the sciences and the anatomy and physiology, human body kind of stuff, kinesiology. And so I pretty much spent that year becoming a better student, better at studying and really seeing an end goal with my studying because I thought I wanted to become a physical therapist. So then comes the following spring semester. I wanna say at this point it was spring 2017. And I was like, you know what? I'm a better student now. I, I, I've spent more time studying and now I'm more goal oriented. I'm gonna retake this math class here at the university and get you know get that grade taken care of and taken off my transcript and so I retook it at the university I studied way harder granted I had a little bit more background knowledge because of the 
um, two attempts that I already had, but there's a big gap in between, and honestly, I didn't remember a whole lot. Um, and I really studied, and I really, I really tried hard, and I, I made sure to, you know, I talked to the professor a lot, and you know, I, I really worked hard in that class, and I got an A. So basically, I took the same class, 15 credits, which 15 credits is a regular full-size load because I had taken this class three times. It was pretty much like I had taken a full semester's worth of courses, worth of credits and money just to take this one class three times. And on my transcript now, it shows an F for the class and two A's for the class. One of those A's being at a community college. The only reason I had to put my community college transcript on my AMCAS application for med school is because of that one math class that I ended up retaking at university anyway. But anyway, retook it, got the A, maintained my grades after that, applied to med school, didn't know that it would factor into my you know, application. On my transcript, it showed as if I had never gotten the F, but on my uh, application, it actually brought my GPA down substantially. Um, my uh, cumulative GPA ended up being a 3.66. Now, I was a B average student at the beginning of college. I got mainly Bs until after failing that math class. And so I got a 3.66 cumulative GPA and a 3.91 science GPA because I had to started taking my sciences after getting that douse of motivation. My physics and everything came after that math class, then my O-chems, chemistries, biologies, biochemistry. Um, all my kin classes I loved. And so, so th that's kind of my motivation for everyone asking kind of, you know, you know, how my grades were and all, you know, trying to compare your grades because maybe you're a little bit nervous about your performance. So, you know, take it from me, like you can still get into med school, just keep working hard uh, and don't give up, you know? So anyways, that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.